Hey everybody and welcome to another video critique. It's me, Colin, your instructor. Sorry? Hi! I don't know where I was looking there. Coming to you from sunny St. Paul, Minnesota. And it is a beautiful day outside. Well, sunny but cold anyway. Not a cloud in the sky as I look out the window. Uh, but I will be indoors most of today doing this. Uh, anyway, um, I just up top wanted to say thank you for all your hard work. Uh, you guys have done a ton of great stuff this uh, class, and uh, just wanted to let you know I appreciate it. So let's get into one last video for Jake. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so let's make this guy going. All right, so this time around, uh, we're going to be looking at Larry's work, at Julie's work, at Morel's work, and at Tammy's work. So let's go ahead and just jump right into that now. Oh, <laughs> starting a little at the beginning here with Larry's. Let's try that. So uh, as we do this, we're going to be talking uh, both about the images themselves. You know, we'll run through, we'll see which ones are working and not. And then we'll kind of talk about how they work together as a project or whether or not they work together as a project. So we have the sunrise. The front porch here. And the playground. And another view of the playground. And this very cool uh, shot of apparently Black Creek. Last but certainly not least, this. Um, I think this is as good a place as any to start. I thought this turned out great. Um, really, very nice tonal range in this. Uh, I gotta say, between this and this, big surprise, I am gonna go with this version. Um, Larry, I think this is among your best images that I've seen from you. This is really nice. Um, I love how. It gets really dark in some of these areas, but there's still detail in there. I love this. I love the way that these look, and the sort of um, the the way that the light makes it so that you almost can't see in the water at all. It's like almost as still as glass. You have these sort of things from, I don't know, if that's from a bridge or a dock or what, but that is really cool looking. Um, so that one is definitely a successful one. Uh, I also really like the, the, your Black Creek here um, for a lot of the same reasons, although this one, again, I would say probably the, the, the sepia here. Um, as you uh, well know, I do like the, uh, the monochromatic ones. And the other one that I really wanted to talk about here was this. Um, I think that you have some really super nice uh, landscapes here. Um, and they're sort of landscapes uh, that take me back a little bit. They are, um, they feel more, I say more this one than necessarily the other two that we've been talking about just now, but um, sort of make me think back to the sort of images that they were making in like the mm, like mid to late 60s. Um, in a good way. I think there's some kind of nostalgia there. Um, it's just something with the look of this. I don't know if it's the the something to do with the wide angle here or the um, yeah something about the the, the the spatial relations here. It's just really kind of giving me like that idea of uh, yeah that time period. Something that's reminiscent to me of that. Um, and maybe a little bit of, I don't know what it is about this, something about this makes me think of Robert Frank as well. Um, again, another one of my favorite photographers, so I call that a uh, pretty high praise. I also really like this. I'm not sure um, why the sun is black like that. Was there some kind of eclipse going on or something? Is it going or something? I don't know. I have a hard time keeping up with it. But I thought that this was really neat. Um, 
and I think like a lot of the best ones here, it, it, it sort of is atmospheric in a way. You kind of have the mist, you have that thing happening with the sun, you have this sort of uh, really dramatic light, which I thought was really pretty nice. So yeah, a few very nice images here. Um, overall, I thought that this went together uh, as a project pretty well. Um, you definitely have sort of a, I would say, both a thematic and a um, uh, and sort of a stylistic uh, unity here. You know, they they have, I mean, they're all kind of landscapes um, in a way. Some, you know, obviously very much landscapes. Others, you know, so environmental landscapes maybe. Um, and then your approach to them, again, is sort of get that little bit of nostalgia kind of happening and, and just kind of you do some some similar visual things in them, um, but not to the point where it would it would feel repetitive. Just it, it, instead, it makes it feel more like unified. Um, and I thought that that actually, uh, yeah, worked out great. Excuse me. So, yeah. Uh, very nice work on that, Larry. And up next, uh, we're going to be looking at Julie's work. And Julie did a few different things here. Um, as you can probably tell, it looks like a little bit of HDR going on here. And then some other stuff. Sorry, these are a little bit small. I think all of these are small. No, okay, good. I made it zoom in somewhat though. Let's just take a look here. All right, that's more like it there. Okay, so um, we have, uh, I guess, this is an HDR. Well, let's go through first, and then we'll come back. Um, just briefly take a look at these guys. So we have a couple of versions of, of this HDR. And sort of some kind of inverted thing going on here, uh, which I actually quite like. So we have some kind of horses, and so she's doing a lot of the different things that we've seen this uh, in this class, kind of showing off, you know, some uh, some double image, apply image stuff, a little bit of emulsion edges on that guy. Uh, what I actually think is a fairly nice. Um, Oh, what do you call it? Um, mosaic here, um, which we can see kind of full sized here. And sepia, and then some kind of selective um, desaturation there. Um, I'm actually going to go back up and talk about one of my favorite ones here, which is this HDR. Um, now you can definitely tell here that she did the HDR right. Um, it has that sort of weird contrasty look, sort of kind of hyper real or hyper um, long uh, exposure thing that I quite like. Um, yeah, and I think it's well applied here. Uh, my only issue here is maybe just slightly less up the field. I think that this is kind of throwing me off a little bit, but. I mean, it's such a small thing compared to like all the stuff that you did really well here. Um, and again, looks great in black and white as well. Uh, but then again, I think everything looks great in black and white. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think everything that looks good looks better in black and white. But, um, I also wanted to get in here and look at this guy because I thought that this uh, image with the horses in it was quite nice as well. One more jump in here. Um, I think this is a great example of sort of a. Is this a sepia tone or a split tone? It kind of looks more like a split tone to me, but I could be off there. Um, yeah, a really, a really great example of sort of using the toning effect uh, to sort of enhance the, the kind of moody quality of this. Um, I thought that that was really. Uh, that this really turned out great. Um, 
one of your better images that I've seen from you. And again, it has this nice kind of layered thing where it has like this sort of section with the horses in it is real, um, you know, kind of a lighter value, although it is, you know, again, slightly darker here. Then you have this real dark kind of stripe of exposure in the middle that really kind of sets this off, provides contrast. And then you have just this really lovely sky in the background, some of these sort of skeletal looking trees kind of poking up and then the, the power lines. Um, so it's a real nice sort of layered thing that's happening and having the different kind of go light, dark, light, dark, like it does. You know, light, dark, light, dark. Um, does really kind of add a nice element of contrast within the image. Um, then of course you have a group of three, as we all know. Uh, three is a uh, I, would, I would even go so far as to call it a magic number within photography. It really is uh, visually pleasing here. And there was one more thing I wanted to look at here, which was number 16. Yeah. Um, again, I thought this was a really nice. Uh, oops, that's not what I want to do. I want to do this. I thought both of these were fairly nice. Um, sort of landscape images. Oh, there it is. Although between the two, I have to say that I do like the actual horizontal landscape more than the vertical landscape. Um, but there is a kind of a neat feeling of uh, like maybe expansiveness or sort of openness here that I like a lot. Um, in terms of the selective desatur desaturation, I could kind of take it or leave it here. I'm more interested in a lot of the other stuff happening. Um, I feel maybe kind of neutral about it. Um, in terms of how well these images go together as a uh, series, I think that they do make a fairly strong series. Um, they kind of, I would say their main thing that ties them together is the fact that they are thematically similar. They kind of all are about this um, this place, sort of the place where you live in North Dakota. Um, and it feels like they are, that they're all of that place. You get a good sense of place in them. I keep saying place because I feel like place is really important. And not because I'm trying to win some bet about how many times I can say place. Uh, like in a movie or something. Anyway, nice work, Julie. I, I really liked uh, a lot of what you were doing here. All right, so up next, let's look at Morel's work. And she kind of went a different direction than a lot of you guys. So let's see. We're just going to again run through and kind of take a look at what is happening with these. Before we really get into it. It's interesting because I was sort of like, <laughs> as I was doing these, I was kind of making a, uh, like a bit of a narrative um, about what was happening here. I mean, obviously, as with Julie, you do see a lot of the techniques from this class um, sort of introduced here, but I sort of as I was going through these, I was thinking like, okay, you start off with a fairly straightforward image, like you're in a forest, you're sort of on like a journey, and you have like, again, in the forest, and things are starting to get a little weird, like you got kind of a, everything's kind of blue, and you're kind of continuing down a path here, and everything's kind of getting progressively stranger, and progressively stranger, you know, you're sort of like, uh, and then all of a sudden it's like you're straight up in surreal territory and you're seeing all these crazy things you know kind of all these surreal uh, bizarre things I just sort of if for whatever reason that's kind of struck me as like a story of like you know whether it's like going down into this magical place or it's some kind of weird hallucination slash drug trip slash dream or whatever. Um, but I thought that was interesting to, to think about it in those terms. Um, in terms of what the most successful images are, I thought this was actually a really uh, pretty convincing um, 
shadow, or shadow, um, uh, composite. I think one of the reasons for that is the shadow. Um, I mean, I really feel pretty convinced by that. I think that's really a nice one there. Again, bizarre, but I really like this. Um, and the other one that I really liked was this. This is kind of it's so strange, and yet I, I really kind of enjoy it. Um, yeah, I think this is some of your best work. I mean, I know I, I say that sometimes, but I mean, that's really, <laughs> that's really kind of neat. Um, so well done. I feel like the thing that ties them together, other than that I was fairly readily made a story out of them, was, uh, I think... Part of it was just like you get elements of things that she has been interested in throughout the semester, um, sort of tied together with her particular visual approach. And yeah, it just I think it resolves into something really interesting. Um, so, very nicely done. Oh, that's cool. All right. Um, and then finally, last but not least, we have Tammy's. <coughs> And hers, I feel, are definitely linked thematically. Let's go ahead and, and run through them here and see if you can kind of uh, get an idea of what that is. I love that. That is really cool. This so reminds me of, of where I'm from. A lot of these do. That's also really cool. Um, so Tammy uh, went with uh, some landscapes here, some kind of panoramas, and I thought that a lot of these turned out really surprisingly well. Um, I mean, I shouldn't say surprisingly well because Tammy has really consistently had some killer images, but uh, just the, I mean, some of these are just really lovely. These are sort of the, the, the tones that you have here, the sort of curve of this road versus the sort of curving thing here. You know, sort of the, the shapes of the clouds are reflected in kind of the shape of the landscape. Tammy, I'd be really interested to know where you shot some of these because these so remind me of an area near where I grew up. Um, so if you, you know, if you get this and you want to satisfy my curiosity, uh, feel free to shoot me an email. I'd love to know. Um, again, a really nice one right there. Um, but I think this, in my mind, is the most successful. Um, something about the way the um, the way the space recedes in here, sort of this curve of the road, and back in there, some of these uh, the, the contrast of these clouds, and even just the overall tone of this, like the the, the tinted effect. I think really you got some very, very lovely images here, Tammy. So a really a, a high note to go out on, um, on this class. I think that's really spectacular job. Speaking of going out, um, that's it for your last critique. Um, I know I said it at the top, but I just want to go ahead and say it again. I thought you guys all did some really nice work throughout the semester. I think that um, you all have reason to be proud of yourselves and um, yeah I wish you nothing but uh, uh, success for your future and I hope that you um, yeah that you find what you're looking for out there that you're able to to pursue to, to continue to pursue this uh, you know, career this field and, and that you wind up doing what it is you want to do um, well, anyway, thanks a lot for all your hard work, guys, and I guess this is goodbye.